Hello, my name is Kathy Serpin, and I've been president of TOC for Education since 1995. A few years earlier, I had written Dr. Goldell a letter to share with him that I was using some of his concepts from the book, The Goal, in my classroom. My letter began, if you would walk into the office of our middle school principal on his desk, you would find a copy of The Goal. It sits next to a little train engine, and thereby hangs a tail. I went on to share how I was using some of the ideas to teach my students in world cultures how to think, how to learn, how to lead. And I concluded my letter with how your book made its journey from Eglin Air Force Base to a middle school and what that has to do with a little engine. It's a tale only Shakespeare himself could tell. Still, I would love to share it with you because I think your goal and our goal are inextricably linked, but only time and you can tell me if that is so. The Little Engine That Could is a book about an engine that's trying to pull a train load of toys over a mountain to the children. He keeps telling himself, I think I can, I think I can. Ellie Goldratt didn't give us a, a gift of toys. What he gave us was a gift of tools. The TOC for Education, Thinking, and Communication tools Ellie gifted us with are the cloud to resolve and even prevent conflicts, the logic branch to think through the consequences of actions, decisions, and ideas, and the ambitious, ambitious target tree to set and achieve worthy goals. The following picture was taken in Leon, Mexico to send Ellie a message from every student from the school. The students representing kindergarten to 12th grade were asked to choose and hold up an example in their notebooks that applied one of his thinking tools, one of these tools, to help them that they used to help them either in a subject, in curriculum, or on a personal problem. Along with the picture from the school, they sent a message. We might be only one country, perhaps only one school, but we are 392 TOC hearts learning from you. Thank you, Ellie. In 1997, in his closing remarks at the first TOCFE International Conference, Ellie said, Do you know what it feels like to sit in the back of the room and be so happy to see your dream coming true? Well, on the day this picture was taken, on June 3rd, 2011, one of the Greenwich students, 13 years old, had a message to Ellie. She wrote, I don't know how it feels that the work of your life isn't a dream anymore, that every single student that holds with pride its notebook in front of them is just because of you. And signed with all my heart, a forever smile, and the love of a stranger, Sophia. So 10 years later, where are we now? 23 countries on six continents. We have trained over 250,000 school stakeholders to include teachers, principals, counselors, parents, civic leaders, who have had an impact on over 8 million children. Since our founding, our practitioners have developed these applications to all of these walks of life, all these areas of need. They were presented at our virtual conference in 2020, and you are welcome to view all of them for free by following the link below. In his introduction to the goal, Ellie Goldratt wrote, progress in understanding requires that we challenge basic assumptions, such as, can we teach five-year-olds to think cognitively? We can with the cloud. What about, can we make learning relevant to real life in classrooms? This is a picture of a six-year-old boy who learned the cloud in a curriculum lesson, and he went home and used it to solve a conflict with his brother. Transfer of learning.
Another assumption was that we have to teach TOC to small groups. That assumption was shattered in Japan when we taught 140 people from all walks of life, business, teachers, parents, and even young children, all at the same time, a four-day seminar using the three tools. What about teaching a paradigm shift process online? This probably would never have happened were it not for the pandemic. Ellie used to say, what you do in an emergency, you should have been doing all along. So we began Zoom training. This is a picture of a facilitator training of participants from five countries on four continents who have created portfolios of examples and an ambitious targetry to do their own trainings. And thinking about our progress over the years, of course, the question has to do with the whys. I am remembering 1994, a TOC business conference that Ellie brought to Florida so that a group of students learning TOC could share their work. Some questions were arising about the cost of this knowledge, which was being donated at the time. Would that always be the case? Was that even possible? As he closed, as he closed the conference, he answered that question with, within a year, he said, I will have my feet firmly planted in education, and I will never take a penny from education, and it's not generosity, it's win-win. It makes me feel good. At that moment, he was walking the talk of finding a win-win to the conflict which most of us confront all too often. Act to please myself, act to please others. How to meet individual needs in a way that serves group needs. In 1995, Ellie found, founded TOC for Education. We are operating as a not-for-profit organization and with no paid staff. And we are an all-volunteer organization. Ellie Goldratt was called a genius by Business Week and a guru to industry by Fortune magazine. For millions of children and those who counsel, teach, and parent them, however, he was a philanthropic educator whose life work continues to enable them to think for themselves and to make sense of and take responsibility for what they learn and how they behave. Our progress has been made possible by the heart, brain, and spiritual conscience of Ellie Goldratt to create and spread superior forms of thought. In donating his time, his treasure, and his creative capacity, Dr. Ellie Goldratt was, as characterized by the words of Gandhi, the change you desire to see in the world.